we have a request to understand frequency ratios in terms of percentage increases. Now let's look at the scale of the musician, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, and these are ratios that are perfect ratios. And we know that today we have equal temperament for tuning and we deviate slightly from these so we can play equally well in all the keys. Now the physicist scale has simple ratios that are 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. These are, in contrast, more complicated. So if you look at the second harmonic and the third harmonic, the ratio is 3 to 2. And then what we did there is you played a game in class that 3 to 2 happens to be here, 3 to 2, the fifth degree of the scale, so that means it's from Do to Sol. But what the question involves is how do you apply ratios to percentages and how does all that work? Well, here's what you would do. Let's take an easy case. Let's move by an octave. If you go from H1 to H2, that's a doubling. So that's a 100% increase. If you have 100 hours and put it in the bank and somehow in one year get back twice your money, that would be 100 hours of interest. That's 100% interest and you would get back double your money. Let's look at another one. Here's 3 to 2. If 3 to 2 is applied, that means if you put 100 hours in a bank, you would get here 150 back because remember how you apply these ratios. You apply to 3 to 2 on the 100, get you 150, and then if you want to relate that to percentage increase, you would say, well, I had 100 hours to start with, and I wound up with 150, so I made 50 bucks. So 50 bucks out of 100, that's 50% in increase. Let's do another one. Suppose we had a 5 to 4 ratio. That would take 240 hours and make it 300. Well, whenever possible, I like to think of 100 hours, so I'm going to use 100. If I have 100 hours and then have 5 fourths, then you can see that I get 125 hours. In fact, the 1 fourth more is 25% increase. In fact, you don't even have to take 100 hours or 240. You just look at this, 5 to 4. What's the extra? The extra is 1 fourth, so that's 25%. What's the extra here? 3 halves. It's 1 half. That's 50%. What's the extra here? Four thirds. The extra is one third because the whole is three thirds. So one third is the extra. That's thirty-three percent. Here, the extra is one eighth. That would be uh, a half of twenty-five percent is twelve and a half percent. Here, the extra, if you have two, the extra is one. So it's a hundred percent. So that's one way of looking at these and relating these to percentages and increases with percentage. Uh, notice that when you have your harmonics, if you take any two of these, like say the 5 and the 6, the ratio is 6 to 5. 600 hours to 500 hours, 6 to 5. So that's 6 to 5. That's an extra fifth. 6 fifths is 5 fifths plus an extra fifth. That's a 20% increase. So that's a neat way to do it. Just look at your your ratio, let's say 2 to 3 here, going from 2 to 3, that would be 3 halves, if I think of the the higher one, uh, la, you know, last, 3 to 2, that's what we usually do when we go from 2 to 3, we put the second one first, and then we put the colon, and then the, the first one, so I end up on the 3, I start it with the 2, all right, 2 to 3, 3 to 2 ratio, and that means 3 halves, that means 1 half more than a whole, because 3 halves is two halves, that's a whole, plus one half, 50% increase.